This great land is the cornerstone of civilization since times immemorial. Layered in its history is the legacy of the Greeks. The Mughals and the British. The first footprint of civilization is here, the ancient city of Harappa. For centuries, its soil has given birth to contemporary geniuses, Dr. Sir Alama Muhammad Iqbal, Faiz Ahmed Faiz, Dr. Abdul Salam. It has people and politicians. It has history and heritage. Culture and agriculture. Fairs and festivals. It is a province of fabulous folklores. It is the timeless province of Punjab. Punjab is Pakistan's largest province with an area one and a half times larger than England. Its GPP is $276 billion. Punjab contributes 62% to Pakistan's economy. This political government has its political will and uh, political sense to provide full support to all these initiatives which can promote public-private partnership, private-private partnership and also attract investment in those areas which were hitherto uh, totally no-go areas for private sector. With a total population of 93 million, Punjab is larger in terms of market size than some European and other Asian countries. I do believe uh, Punjab has uh, very bright prospects. If you really consider Punjab has 93 million people uh, as a population, and more than half of the people uh, are under 25 years old. So we have a potential uh, of a great uh, uh, sector in that, you know, um, uh, people who uh, can contribute to the society. Punjab is very, very ideally located. Uh, it has uh, huge water resources with the five rivers which are flowing, you know, and a skilled labor force with a reasonably good infrastructure. One of the fastest growing economies in this region, with Pakistan's GDP growth rate of 8.4% in 2005 and an average growth rate of 7% since 2003, Punjab is one of the most successful transition economies in attracting foreign direct investment. Uh, and when you're a foreign investor like we are, you look at the environment in which you are investing and you, you don't just look at three to five years. You have to look at 25 years, 30 years. And if you look at the population, the number of people living in Punjab, you look also at the industry and the, the environment uh, here in Punjab, it's really, I would say, a, a no-brainer that the future potential is there. Um, and that's why we are here. You have an environment with uh, growing people, growing wealth, GDP growth is, is happening. Um, as I said earlier, well-educated people, um, people who want to learn, people who are entrepreneurial. So if you have a long-term view and a long-term vision, Punjab is an environment in which you have to invest. This region has received over $5.2 billion in foreign direct investments in the financial year 2008-09 alone. Over 1,200 multinational firms across all sectors are supported by foreign capital. Punjab is transitioning from a largely agrarian economy to a services economy. 
I think Punjab has a lot to offer in terms of infrastructure, in terms of human resources, in term, terms of access and in terms of creativity. So there's a lot that we can offer across the board. We have everything. We have all kind of regional and geographic uh, sort of extremities in that sense. So there is a potential. It's also one of the most educated areas. So when you talk about the quality of human resources, it's there. So I think if you put all of that together, there's a huge potential. And if this, uh, if this potential is harnessed through foreign direct investment or through local investment, we will see change. Some important sectors in Punjab are industry and textile. Punjab accounts for almost 60% of all industrial value addition in Pakistan. Large-scale manufacturing sector constitutes 55% of value addition in the sector. 60% of Pakistan's export comprise of textiles. Punjab contributes to over 70% of Pakistan's cotton production. Energy and power Consumption increases 8 to 9% per annum. It is expected to reach 21,000 megawatts by 2010. 235 million tons of coal reserves are still available. Agriculture Punjab is a leading player in agricultural production and contributes 68% to annual food grain production in the country. Over 60% of Pakistan's export earnings are derived from agriculture. Punjab also has the world's largest canal irrigation system. Horticulture Punjab is the fifth largest mango producer in the world. Citrus, dates, potatoes and onion are among the best quality in the world. Only 10% of the produce is exported. Punjab provides uh, certain advantages which certainly are, um, are better than they would be elsewhere in, in Pakistan. One is the climate is very conducive. Second is it has an unlimited uh, supply of talent both uh, with the blue collar worker as well as with the white collar worker. Uh, cities of Punjab like pr primarily Lahore and Multan and Faisalabad now provide very good educated talent with skills uh, up to masters and even PhD degrees. And these are the people really who help you take your mission forward in industry. Livestock Livestock contribution in GDP is 11.3% and in the agricultural value addition its share is 60%. Worker remittances in the financial year 2008 and 9 was $5.4 billion. Punjab has, among the South Asian economies, one of the best infrastructure and an efficient network of roads connecting all of Punjab and other provinces. Punjab Board of Investment and Trade is Punjab's premier investment promotion agency, linking Punjab to a global network of progressive investors. The role of Pivot includes one-to-one -one relationship, reduced time to market, customized financial advisory, world-class research and reports. We have interest from the Middle East investors uh, who want to come into the agri and the fruit processing side. Uh, there is one uh, specific group that's interested to do mango pulping and to re-export it. Um, we have several countries who are interested in building cold chains and pack houses here which we need on the agri side. 
then also there are some people who are interested in doing energy products here so so these are the two three fields that uh, we are interested in we have interest from european and american companies as well who want to come and invest into pakistan uh, investment itself is a tedious process there is several evaluation there are several stages to it and to reach to the end you have to start so pivot is the place where you start with they are uh, creating uh, this linkage between uh, chamber of commerce uh, federal government it's like uh, almost a one window operation uh, government of punjab uh, agriculture department livestock they are the one uh, trying to interact with them providing coordination to uh, potential investors in the province from uh, abroad pakistani diaspora in um, uk north america middle east for centuries explorers have believed in the potential and the promise of punjab for centuries people have reaped rewards for their investments in this great province if you are planning to invest think punjab it has been here for centuries it is here to stay <laughs>